Hey everyone, I thought it might be fun to do a little demo video of how I put these together. For those of you who maybe want to take yours apart or, or play with them in some other capacity, I, I thought this goes together easy enough that, that it should be um, pretty user friendly. So first things first, the base is just two parts. Um, the lower cap just threads on, so I didn't want to waste too much time with that. It's just a nice, like a like a mayonnaise jar, so I'll just set that aside. Um, next up, um, this is the plunger that moves the arms, so um, for the lid, um, that just is a nice running fit in there, and the knob just threads on there to retain it, and I've, I thought long and hard about whether or not I wanted to put any thread locker or, or glue on these fittings, and and I've decided against it, even though um, it runs the risk that, that these may come loose for you. But obviously, it's easy enough for you to disassemble and put together. I think, I think it's better to preserve the ability for you guys to uh, be able to service your own um, piece than to tend to lock everything thing down in the off chance that it might come loose. So that's it. That's a nice snug fit. You can just kind of hold it with your thumb and, and snug it down. Um, and then each of these arms uh, has to go into its respective slot. So these, um, when I drilled these holes and reamed these holes, I reamed one side all the way through and the other side only part of the way through. So um, <clears throat> you'll see these little pins can only go in, if you're holding it facing you, these little pins only go in right to left. Um, and they're still a pretty snug fit, but um, if you try to go left to right, they, they won't, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be an interference. So the way these go in, they just, you simply want to engage this little tong um, to this little slot in the plunger, like so. So once you fit that in there, it's engaged to the plunger, and then you're going to look to align the hole there. And then you're just going to slip one of these dowels in. It. There you go. So, right to left. Um, for those of you who want to take it apart, you're gonna you're gonna want to punch left to right. Um, and then I'm just using a little um, brass pin to kind of snug them down. But but I'm not really doing much. So they'll stop just shy of that surface, and then they'll hit an, an interference, and they'll be a little bit more recessed on the right. Um, and that gives you a nice. Um, easy actuation and then I'll do that five more times I'm not gonna um, waste too much of your time here doing this so I might I might fast forward to this bit Okay, so from there, uh, it's just a simple matter of uh, dropping a spring into this part. Um, this spring is slightly tighter than the one I'm using in the demo. Um, I think it gives a good feel, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think firmer is better. So this kind of just drops on. I'm gonna wanna line it up. And then, as you can see, there's, there's slots in each of these. Uh, each of the lids. So this is where this little pin engages. So this pin threads into this little hole and engages that slot, but it's a nice loose fit so it just allows it to ride up and down um, on that slot. Again, I thought pretty hard about whether or not to put thread locker on these um, just to sort of keep them from backing out. So you're, to put this together you're just going to put pressure on it to seat it and then thread uh, one in. And these go in um, pretty finger loose but then they kind of snug down at the, at the end. So now this is nice and retained. Now I thought if this is riding up and down, there's a chance it could like put friction on the, the correct side of that and slowly spin it out. I don't really think that's a threat. Um, and, and, and even if one of these comes loose, the, it only takes one to hold this in place and there are, there are five going all the way around. So if one of your pins comes loose, you can just kind of grab it and thread it right back in. Um, and again, since there's no real 
good gripping surface here. If I glued these and you decided you did want to take it apart, it would be a bit of a chore to get enough of a grip to, to heat it up and then overcome the thread locker. So I think um, better safe than sorry and, and omit the glue. Um, there are definitely cases where I think I would go the other way with it, but um, in this particular case, it's, it's such an easy assembly, I think. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this better if you can take it apart. So um, that's it, five more pins, or five little thread ends like that, and then she's done. So that's the whole assembly. Um, and then you just put it right on the base, and again, you're gonna wanna put a little downward pressure to seat the lid, and then she's done. Um, so yeah, piece of cake. And then to take it apart, obviously, it's just that whole process in reverse.